Yo, what is up guys? I am the typical ninja and welcome back to another video. So yeah, in the last episode, we got to learn pretty much a lot about Zeke's backstory, you know, from when he was a little kid up until now. Yeah, why he told on his parents, like, yeah, what they were doing in the backgrounds, you know, and basically, yeah, get them sent over to paradise. So, you know, they get turned into Titans as punishment or just to... I, yeah, I guess in general for the experiments and all that, but yeah, it was kind of a lot. Yeah, we got to see like, yeah, they wanted him to be a soldier so he could be one of the candidates, but obviously that didn't work out as, you know, as well as Grisha had hoped. So yeah, of course he started to lose faith in him and that's, yeah, I never thought Grisha was like that. Yeah, I thought he was sort of doing the right thing, even though he, you know, sometimes did this or that, but no, really to his own son like that he really didn't care about his son in general he just cared about whether he could be like that you know warrior that can actually just go to the top ranks and get chosen you know like yeah he that's all he cared about and basically so you know zeke could be strong enough to fight but yeah, I'm not even gonna keep you guys for too long. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this. Make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, let's just get this reaction started. Okay, so here we go. It's raining. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Yep. Zeke just said, forget it. And he blew up the Thunder Sphere. And Levi was right in front of it. Yeah, okay. I hope he's okay. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, how would you... Let's see. Yeah, he can just regenerate that off, I guess. Zeke, but... I don't know about Levi. Yeah, everybody drunk the wine. So yeah, they all have that spinal fluid in them. And yeah, I see them with the sort of armbands yeah he got a white then he got the red pixels got the black so yeah the white armband is proof your jaegers who learned they drank the wine and were forced to comply so what is black let's see so without knowing anything or to identify with black yeah yeah exactly how marley does it like yeah so they can know who's an eldian who's a marleyan but i mean hey that, yeah that's smart because they can know who's who yeah whether they knew or not um is just finding out about it now or if they knew you know and as a jaeger is あなた方はおろかにも懸命でした。最初から私たちと Lost his mind and hurt the two. Yeah, the two people who should care most about. Like, I don't know why he just said it all like that. Just saying whether it was true or not. Like, just out there with it. So yeah, he, he's just clearly lost his mind now, or whatever is going on with him. But what does Yelena need with them? 
Oh yeah, he's still, yeah. What's his name? Oh, Young Kampo? Yeah, he's on their side as well. In the cycle of hatred to save Eldiot and even Marley. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot to do. I, I've i seen what the Marleyans can do, especially in Zeke's backstory. Yeah, man. They do not care about the Eldians. Even if they're living among them. I mean, they just do all types of stuff to them. Oh, and Aaron's talking to Gabby personally. But yeah, they could really care less about the Eldians. So yeah, let's see how they're gonna uh, bring them together. Oh! Peak, yep. Cause she was here, yep, in disguise. Close the door. Now nah, here we go. Okay. Oh, and uh, well, yeah, Shigashina District. Well, yeah, we already know about it, but yeah, the fortified residential district of Paradise Island, where the operation to retake the Founding Titan began in 845. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is like a while back. Yeah, not even in the 1000s yet or 2000. So yeah, in the five years following the fall of Walmartia, it was inhabited by Titans, yep, as we know. However, with the operation's failure, the hole was plugged by Eren, and the current state of the district is unknown. The primary goal of the new strategy is for the Cart Titan and Jaw Titan to infiltrate Shigashina, the southern southernmost district. Yep. Okay. Aim the right for it, Aaron. Yeah, let's see what he can do here. Hands out of your pocket. You weren't allowed to kill the founding titan. Oh, yeah. Just to retake it, but even at that, get the turn into a titan. Yeah, you would have to eat him alive, but if he's dead, you can't get the founding titan. Yeah. You can't get the founding titan back if he's dead. So yeah, this makes me wonder, yeah, who else is with Peak? And eating you doesn't seem possible either. Yeah, he's... It's crazy how invincible he is right now. Because no one can really touch him. I mean, he has, you know, his Jaegers, his followers helping him out. And he's just, like, completely took control over Paradise now. Like, yeah, everybody's on his side. He has all this power. Yeah. Subjects of humor. Yeah, the one truth they can't escape. For a race that turns into titans. Yeah, in the world, yeah, they're definitely not going to forgive you or whatever. Yeah, just let you go just because you're a good Eldian. Like, yeah, no way. Yeah, even if we prove we're good Eldians, zero chance they're freed. We have to secure our right to live with our own hands. Yep. 
Oh, hold up. You're gonna co cooperate with the show as what you mean. Or so as you mean it. Okay. Point out where they are if they go to the roof. Yeah, and he had the Titan ready. He already hurt himself. <laughs> what? Touched his heart. Noble was... Okay. Oh, yeah. Got to arm and... Oh, invaders. Okay. Yeah, the cart time, but who else? Yeah, that's all I'm trying to figure out. I know they probably got a uh, jaw tighten. Yeah, they're allies now. Yeah, as long as she points out the other invaders. Oh yeah, they're cuffed together. Wait, can't peek? Somehow, well, yeah, cut her own hand off. Oh, yeah, look at them, bro. These simps. Yeah, bro. Oh, they're blushing. But can't, yeah, because Pete can just regrow her hand back, or at least regenerate it back. Cut off her hand. Then after that, break free. So if she does turn into a titan, Gabby won't be so close. Let's see where the enemy is. Is she gonna jump? Or let's see. Pointing that Aaron. Yeah, he's the enemy. Yeah, I guess he's about everybody's enemy at this point. Oh no, literally. Oh no, the jaw? Okay. Yeah, bit his leg. And there he goes. Oh no. Oh, okay. Animation. So now, nah, yeah, the jaw tie literally right under him. And then those two can make their escape. Or no, still there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, he specifically said Reiner as well because now he is back on the island. And I would say... No, not right. No, they definitely gone against each other. Let's see. Twice already. I know one in season two, one in season three when he um, was able to crystallize or no, harden his hands. So yeah, that's when he was better at fighting. Then... Yeah, here we go with them potentially, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure, going against each other for the third time. So, yeah, actually, I was going to go back to the two episodes, but I saw this was like the last episode of part one. So I was like, you know, let me just start off part two with the two episodes. Yeah, hopefully it's no more one episode. -er. And yeah, if you guys haven't seen like my post, yeah, basically, I'm a senior in high school. So basically, you know, I'd have to do all this or all that and really just get these scholarships you know writing the essays and all that so yeah it's not as much right now but 
you know, I got other things to do as well, just because simply I'm older now. So yeah, I might have, you know, some yard work to do or something like literally, yeah, I'm about to do some yard work. So, I mean, not right now at least, but you know, I would at least have to do that and just other things. So yeah, that would just be the only reason why yes, yeah, certain, you know, episodes or videos might be late or, um, I might not do as many episodes, even though all I'm doing is just get one extra episode too. But yeah, pretty good episode though. Yeah. Of course, Peak isn't going to work with Aaron here. Yeah, I did like this transformation too. I, that was something right there. But yeah, when she pointed out the enemy, yeah, she literally meant the enemy was right under and yeah, perfect how Galliard was right under. So yeah, she perfectly had that planned out to where she could convince them to go to the rooftop and be exactly right where she wanted them. But yeah, other than that, yeah, we got to know a little bit more about Yelena's goal. Even making Armin cry. Yeah, literally touching his heart. Yeah, it was just that. Her cause was just that noble. But, yeah. And just, man, Aaron, I don't know, man. I mean, he is just, like, invincible right now. Like, nobody can really touch him because... If you kill him, no one can get the Founding Titan just as if he died as the Attack Titan alone. No one would be able to get the Attack Titan because, you know, he's dead, you know. And plus, no one was able to actually eat him while he was still alive. So, yeah, the only way they can get that Founding Titan is eating him alive with a Titan they can at least trust or if it's just... A type of situation towards like whatever titan is the closest you know just eat them because yeah they had that opportunity it's just whatever titan gets to eat them at that point gets the founding titan but not only that yeah he has his jaeger so all these people are working alongside him along with yelena oyankapo you know he has those or, uh, yeah, those allies as well that he can use. Help him out. But, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So, yeah, I'm going to just end it off here. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe again. And I'll see you guys in part two of season four.